Welcome back. I'm Tad Harvey. And I'm Rick Garcia. A Hollywood haven for the homeless is growing, and some say it's out of control. Well, CBS 2's Christine Lazar is live in Hollywood with the campaign to clean it up. Christine? Pat and Rick, that encampment is just up the road here, right here on Cahuenga, across from the freeway. Now, it's actually on private property, which is why the city says it's taken some time to get in there and clean it up. But some people who live in this neighborhood say they've had enough. It started off as a few tents, and now it's pretty much equivalent to like a, a dumping ground. If you drive north on Cahuenga through Hollywood, parallel to the 101 freeway, you'll see this, a sizable homeless encampment filled with trash, tents, and tarps. You know, when it gets cold, people living in the encampments light up, and all it takes is one, you know, mistake, and it's going to rip up the hill, you know, another fire. Heather Nicole is the head of the Cahuenga Pass Neighborhood Watch Program. She says people who live in the surrounding neighborhoods have been trying to get the encampment cleaned up for months with no success, so it keeps getting bigger. Right there. Francoise Coster worries about her safety. They're encamping there, but they're also spreading out and coming into these little cove neighborhoods. Uh, the theft has gone up. This is actually private property. The man who owns it says initially he was okay with people living here, but as of yesterday, he asked them to leave. You know, I also feel sorry for the homeless, and I also feel bad that, you know, the homeless have moved in. The property owner, Ben Ferrat, also owns this car wash in Studio City. He says he tried to develop the property years ago. This is an artist rendering of the project. Ferrat says he initially had city approval, but then he says neighbors in Hollywood complained and his permits were denied. Ferrat is unapologetic about allowing the homeless to live on his property. I mean, that's what you're going to get when you uh, shoot down a $200 million project that was proposed for the site. This is what you're going to end up with. We talked to one homeless veteran who's been living here. He says they came here after being pushed out of another encampment on the other side of the 101. I wouldn't want to get my went in and see this. I mean, I, really, I wouldn't, but it's just, uh, you know, right now, there's no, no place where we can really go. And Doc actually just walked by our camera here, and I asked him if he's talked to anybody from the city today about moving out. He says that he has a social worker, and he's really trying to find housing, but at this point, he says they're still staying there. Now, there has been a measure that passed here in the city for homeless housing. That passed back in November. There's an almost identical one in March on the ballot for the county. Back to you guys in the studio. All right.